The Professional Writing Course at City of Glasgow College provides many things. We look to give the students a broad range of um, disciplinary technique in broadcast script writing, uh, creative writing, technical writing and academic writing. I feel that the Professional Writing Course really helped me improve my standard of writing. Um, it let me try new things that I'd never tried before. I had never tried um, script writing and suddenly I was told I had to do a comedy script and a drama script and I just thought, oh God, here we go, but I did it. And then for other aspects of writing, such as novel writing and poetry, it really helped improve my standard of work and it taught me a lot about the industry as well. I did enjoy the professional writing course. I really liked the screenwriting aspect of it because I'd never done screenwriting before and I really didn't think I'd like it. And then the lectures were really nice and I made a bunch of really nice friends. And it's made me realise I wanted to do screenwriting as a career. So yeah, I really liked it. I think Glasgow is a good place in certain regards for, for young writers launching their career. There's a very vibrant poetry scene in Glasgow just now, which has appeared, begun to appear and grow uh, and become quite a significant movement in the last five years and it's getting bigger every year. Now, the qualities that are essential for success in writing, well, imagination um, combined with talent, a constant stream of imagination, just constantly coming up with, with great ideas. Flexibility, being able to write for different platforms, like write a piece of journalism in the morning and then write a short story in the afternoon. That allows you to build a portfolio career and make money from different disciplines and market awareness. I like screenwriting for TV and film because it's a lot easier and you can you don't need to deal with descriptions as much. It's more you focus on characters and situations more than the trees were green. You get a sense of creative freedom with it and you can write about whatever you want and no one can really judge you unless you're writing about really weird stuff. Well, I've always had an interest in books. Um, from a young age I was always reading so eventually I started to think of my own ideas and just started to write them down and then when the course came up I thought what a great way to expand on it. The course can be a good way to break into the writing industry. I think ultimately the course is designed as an articulation route to university more than it is to the industry. What the course provides is an insight and a knowledge base about what the industry demands and then the portfolio of work that students generate across the course uh, should sit with that knowledge and provide students with the requisite ammunition to, to at least attempt to break into the industry. It provides a platform rather than a successful route, if you like. As a young writer, it's quite hard to break into the writing industry. Um, you've got different platforms you're able to do it on now, so you don't just have to apply via the old route where you would just submit things to publishers. You can get to know people via Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social media. But what the issue is, is trying to make yourself stand out. What makes you different from other young writers? It's kind of hard to be taken seriously if you're a young writer when you haven't been, you haven't sold any books before, you haven't had it published. It's very difficult for anyone to take you seriously. Communication skills is probably one of the, the biggest barriers brought about by the proliferation of electronic media. A lot of our students, while they may be wonderful creative writers, struggle writing an email to a publisher, are wary or, you know, in some way um, reluctant to commit to face-to-face -face communication. I feel that misconceptions with young writers are often that everybody just thinks they're all the same, that Young writers, they're all sitting in cafes and sitting in Starbucks writing and that it's all a lot of fan fiction work. Like, nothing's going to be original. That's not really the case anymore. Because of social media, because of digital and mobile technology and apps, you're finding that creative outlets are becoming much more accessible and numerous. Anyone can go onto YouTube and put a little sketch on there, a little self-made movie. I think if you want to succeed with that, that market awareness is absolutely crucial. Uh, timeliness, you know, just being aware of the market and then coming up with an idea that is just coming to the right audience at the right time. 
that's what commissioning editors, publishers are all looking for. The advice I would give to other young writers trying to break into the industry is to just keep at it, keep writing, keep working on the skills you have, build new skills, try different things, try different techniques and if one, if you get shut down five times, try ten more places. Always keep trying, keep pushing yourself and just because you're rejected or you don't get what you want straight away, it doesn't mean it won't happen. You just need to keep at it. That's the challenge, you know, you just have to be ultra busy and keep knocking on the door and never rest and never ever take rejection too badly. Thank you.